Hello and welcome to the San Siro here in Milan, home to two of Italy's grandest clubs, AC Milan and Internazionale. AC Milan against Roma. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I'll go for the rather moody at times Javier Pastore. Uh, because occasionally he seems kind of half-hearted, but when he's on his game, he's a delight to watch, alert, extremely skillful and full of ingenuity. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. In comes the delivery. Top save! That shot was travelling. Now it's Dzeko, Romagnoli pumps it upfield, and it's Al Sharawi. Decent progress down the left. Aimed in towards the centre. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Bate Oh good ball Who's ball who's going to get that You can get that clear Chalanolu Suzo can't hurt you with his back to goal, and I think if they can keep him facing in that direction, then... Yeah, he's fouled him there. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Looks like he's picked up a bit of a knock from that challenge. Suso. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Boots it upfield. Higuain. Looking for a corner. In with a header! Pastore can hoist it clear. He's been off try. to get it forward quickly. Who's going to make this theirs? Suso shapes the shoot. Goal, Milan! And Milan have the lead. Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too.
Milan draw first blood here. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And it's Higuain. Higuain brings the ball forward. Great reaction. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. The defence can get it clear. the counter is on face to face with the keeper oh he's broken through Milan saved by a gutsy tackle he had to get it right look as a former defender I can only applaud what was a, a tremendous challenge not only because of its importance in stopping the attack but for its timing and the determination in getting there Checo, Strutman looks to dink one in, has a swing at it! And the half-time whistle goes. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Milan are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. nil may be good enough so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it they could even try to, to spoil it from here we'll see it's broken loose Romagnoli Nabati looks like a good ball through that's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Pumps it forwards. Higuain looking to penetrate opposition lines. Played out to the wing. Bonaventura. He's had a go! In for the pieces! They've done it! And with that goal comes comfort! Olsen did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Milan get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Manolas. And it's Dzeko. Roma have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. And the ball's come out! Pastore. Hoists it high. Spoon forward. Higuain. Steaming forward, passes it through. Bonaventura has it out wide and in space. Milan get it back again. Chance! Chalanolu. It's Bonaventura. And the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Roma have a sub ready to come on. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Abate. 
penalty. Oh, he's come flying in. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Higuain was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Federico Fazio. Gets it back. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Milan look as though they're about to make a change. And it's Abate. Great save, that was not easy. There wasn't much on for him, so it was worth a shot, it was worth a try from there. And Zonzi. Party. Going for goal! Florenzi sticks in a foot to win it back. Florenzi. Checo and Zonzi with the ball through. Florenzi. Can he find a finish now? Cuts it back. Saved only by poor finishing. The Bate. There will be four extra minutes. Perotti. Higuain. Looks to slip it through. And Zonzi. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. And it's Dzeko. And time is up. Milan can be very happy with a job well done, an efficient win for which the players simply did enough. So Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, we know clean sheets are always an important ingredient in any recipe, and while delighted with the win, they'll also be very pleased to have managed a shutout. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input, and from us both, good afternoon.